Good evening, everyone. I'm Kessler McLaughlin. And President Obama comes to Texas. All this and more is coming up on Channel 7 News at 5. A memorial for the fallen will be held on Thursday at Baylor University. President Obama and the First Lady are scheduled to attend. The Syrian Electronic Army claims responsibility for hacking AP's main Twitter account and falsely posting that Obama, who will be in Texas later today, sustained injuries in a White House explosion. Well, the suspect in the case of letters laced with ricin sent to President Obama gets released. Mark Jackson reports. These letters have authorities on high alert. The FBI is now handling the situation. Well, coming up after the break, protesters form the streets after the Venezuela presidential election and the first woman prime minister is there. Well, meanwhile, the Senate is now one step closer to discussing the bill on gun control as the two bipartisan senators announce their agreement. The next was only an attendance store is closing its doors forever. According to company representatives, Hastings Entertainment did not meet the profits set by management. According to many of its customers, Hastings offered deals that other stores around town do not, including renting movies, games, and buying and selling a variety of used items for companies for store credit. The store must sell everything they have by May 15th. We are at the beginning of spring and still no sunny days. We'll forecast when we get back with weather.